We're about to talk about the Supreme Court, and there's one person I would most like to consult and quote on that subject. <clears throat> we'll put this over here and this over here. That looks a lot better, don't you think? This is an opening that has existed almost for a year since the unexpected death of Justice Antonin Scalia. We'll see the court's five to four, generally, though not always, conservative majority remain as it is, more or less. So, will this actually change anything? Probably not. If there's not going to be a dramatic change right now, there will be if there's another nominee, Trump nominee to the court. And that is certainly within the realm of possibility. In fact, it's within the realm of possibility that we'll have two or three more. Just looking at the actuarial tables, Justice Anthony Kennedy is 80. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the court's leading liberal voice, is 83. And Justice Stephen Breyer, who's 78 years old, is another of the court's liberals. And without any one of those people, the outcomes could be very different. And if two are gone or three are gone, it would take many generations to undo that conservative majority. And you would see, inevitably, a court that's already pretty pro-business become more pro-business. You would see a court that's more hostile to voting rights initiatives, much more hostile to civil rights claims. Uh, and certainly, if you had more than one Trump appointee, that we, we would have the real possibility of reversing decisions like Roe versus Wade. The interesting thing, I think, will be that we have a president in President Trump who's very willful, has a very distinct idea of what he wants to do. And at the same time, we have a Supreme Court whose conservatives have been pretty suspicious of executive power being wielded that way when President Obama was president, and even a little bit when President Bush was president. And we will now see whether the court has that same suspicion of a President Trump's actions. So I leave you with that thought. I'm Nina Totenberg, NPR's legal affairs correspondent, sitting in for the indomitable, indefatigable Ron Elving, whose office I have taken over and plan not to give back. And I've got the gavel and I'm keeping it.